Today's going to be a little bit different to usual. I've been out doing some wildlife photography, not had much luck, but I've come across this big patch of um, slow berries. They're these like blue purpley coloured berries and I think they're on the black farm bush. I'll double check that, but there's a load of them up here. So it's just started to rain as well. So I'm going to pick a load of these and then we're going to make some either slow gin or slow vodka. A little bit different to photography, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, I do this kind of thing a lot. So you won't be surprised if this video is coming, but I'm going to pick a load of these now and then we'll head into the kitchen. What I tend to do is I tend to grab hold of the, the stem or the branch and I've got on these thickish gloves. These are camouflage because I've been doing wildlife, but I tend to grab hold of a bunch and start to just strip it down and then the berries come away. They should come away quite easily. If you have to pull them quite hard, they're probably not ripe yet. Just have to watch out for the spikes. Got quite a decent haul. Um, it started chucking it down after we ended the video, but I just picked as many as I could. So I've got way too much for what I need today. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and pick out all the leaves. There's going to be a few insects and things in there. There'll be some older sort of monkey looking ones. So we can either chuck them in the compost bin or if you plant those, you can grow your own plants and then you don't have to go looking for them. So the other thing that I tend to do is on some of them, there's going to be some of the stalk left. So I tend to go through, pick those out and then just get rid of all the monkey bits really. So I'm, I'm going to go through all of these and then once this is done, I'm sort of going to take the lazy option with this and when you make it, you want it so that the, the juices can come out of the berries. So you've either got two options. You can either go through them all and prick them with a little needle, or I guess you could put a weight on top and just squish it down. Or what I tend to do is put them in the freezer for a day or two, and then you bring them out. And as they warm up, they seem to explode and, or maybe, maybe explode a bit excessive. They sort of burst a little bit and it, just means that you don't have to go through all the berries and prick them. So the next thing I need to do is get some gin and I also need to get something that I can put the berries, the gin and the sugar into. I've got this empty damage on here. That's a bit big for what I want to do. I think I just want to do a litre this time and experiment with some different recipes with the rest of them. So I'm going to go and get all that sorted out, get these cleaned up, put them in the freezer and get those two things sorted and then we'll catch up then. It's the next day now and I've got everything sorted out. Found the jar. Apparently these are called Kilner jars. Um, they've got a, a flippy up lid and found this is quite a decent size for getting 500 grams worth of berries in and a litre of liquid. And I've also got the gin sorted out. Got Aldi's finest. So I don't think it really matters what the quality is of the gin because it's going to taste like the berries. Um, I've used this a few times and it's, it's always tasted good. So what you need is a litre of gin and you need 500 grams of berries and I've got 225 grams of sugar. So it's basically a thousand milliliters, half it for the fruit and then just under half of that for the sugar. So got the berries in, we'll pour the sugar in 
This is going to go wrong. Oh, good. Oh, I'll catch up in a second. Have about 200 grams of sugar. It was too sweet last time anyway. And then you just pour the gin in. It smells like any other gin. Just tastes like gin. And then you just pour that into here. This might look kind of cool actually. It's a little bit like making an, an alcoholic snow globe. So that just pours in the top. I can see this going everywhere. So we've still got a little bit of space at the top, but I don't think you could really get much more into that. Then in the bottom you can see all the berries surrounded by the sugar. So for the first week or so, you're gonna need to shake this up. Like just do it every other day or so. And the annoying thing about this now is you're gonna have to leave this for at least two months. Longer the better, because it'll get stronger in flavor. But what you need to do now is make sure it's closed up. Also, before you do this, you need to sterilize it. I put some boiling water in a sterilizing tab in and be careful when you shake it around because something about the pressure, I, I scolded my hands before. So either be careful or get someone else to do it. So what we're going to do now is give this a little shake. Try and do it so you can see it. See, it's like an alcoholic snow globe. And you can see all the berries and you can see it all floating around in here. So basically what you're going to do now is for that first week eventually this sugar will dissolve into the into the liquid then you just put it into a dark cupboard and leave it there for however long you want and then eventually you end up with the finished product i've just noticed that this is one that i did last year and you can still see all the berries in the bottom of there see them all floating around so you could strain this out. You just use like a cheesecloth, pour it through, then it gets rid of all the bits. It tastes a lot nicer with the fruit in it. It's just got a, like an obviously fruitier taste to it, which is kind of weird because I'm not sure if you've tried slows on their own. I have quite a fond memory with the slows because when I was out with my granddad when I was little, uh, we walked past one of these black farm bushes and he was like, go and try one of them berries, they're really sweet, you'll love them. So off I went, grabbed a handful, chucked them in and when you bite into them, it's like quite sour and it sort of makes your mouth numb. And I actually like the fruit now. I'm not sure if it's because I've got that memory attached to it, but have a play around and it, it's quite a fun little side project um like i was out doing some wildlife photography and i saw these and i had a bag in my camera bag so yeah yesterday i didn't have any gin and now i do and now you know how to make it so i hope you found the video helpful you also don't need to do a lot of the steps i did like you can use the same tray to thaw them out on as you put them into the freezer I just did it for like example sake to show you the process, but it's really easy. It doesn't take that long when you're doing it yourself. 
and it tastes really good. But I hope you liked the video and please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things that I'm up to and I'll see you next time. There we go. See, it looks like a, a snow globe. See all the bits spinning around. See all the slows in the bottom. Maybe a, a slow globe would be more appropriate.